Hi, I'm Dominic Robson Neal. I'm Zell Folks, and this is Inside the Ropes Boxing Show. Particular boxing, correct. Um, I'm disappointed in the whole transgender situation. Mm. Um, I think it's not right for a transgender athlete to compete with a straight athlete. If they want to compete, I think they should have their own separate, you know what I mean? Right. Uh, separate sport. Right. I mean, even if a, even, I mean, because they're naturally stronger, right. you know what I'm saying? So it, the playing field not even. Let's say the skill sets were even. You're still stronger. You still got man strength. You can't take, you can't take PEDs in boxing, right? right, right. But you're going to let a male compete with a female? That don't make sense. Uh, well, I think what USA Boxing was saying, I mean, what the Olympics was saying at first was, they were going by what was on your passport. You understand what I'm saying? So if your passport said you're a woman, they let them, you know, they didn't care. But it was wrong, and now they went out and had a test and come to find out both of them, you know? So, Was there any doubt ever? <laughs> I mean, the trans the trans guy said, uh, the, the trans guy, they, they knew he was trans. I think he was from what, um, China, Korea, one of them motherfuckers. But, they already knew him, but the other one was saying she was born a woman. <clears throat> but she was born with XY chromosomes and the, uh, Listen, you know what I'm saying? They don't deserve the box. If they want to the box, by all means, box. But, right. you know, keep it in your division. <laughs> I agree. I mean, well, not your division. <laughs> Weight wise, you know, keep it your, your gender. Well, you your know gender. what I'm saying? Yeah, so, and I'm quite sure. I'm quite sure they probably do well. Well, I don't know, man. That's crazy, but I, I, I'm just surprised they actually let them, let them compete like that. It's like they had on one swimming, right? Correct? So swimming, you know, but it is what it is. We don't make the rules. That's crazy. It is what it is. Yeah, it's sad. It's terrible. Now, let's talk about us not meddling. Uh, boxing, well, so far today we haven't meddled. Right. So, what's going on with boxing? I was just um, listening to a tape. Uh, Roy Jones was saying that we're getting fundamentally, the fundamentals are gone in boxing. We haven't really won a gold medal since, what, 92 when Andre Ward won his gold medal. You know what I'm saying? And then he looked like Roy was saying the 84 team had, they had 12 fighters and they won 11 medals. Right. His team, 88 Olympic team, had 88 medals. You know what I'm saying? Now, the last time we had some couple medals, uh, Clarissa won and a couple on, but I'm talking about as far as us dominating boxing, we're not doing that because the fundamentals aren't, be taught, aren't, aren't being taught at the lower level. Right, so it's coming down to the trainers. Yeah, like like they don't have trainers. They don't have teachers no more. See, right. they used to have teachers. Now they just got trainers. Anybody can come in the gym, throw a towel on his back, right. and say, I'm a trainer. If, he, he, if, if Zeb come in here today, and put a towel on his back. And I say, yeah, this, this trainer, this is how new trainer's there. They're going to listen to him. Right. And whether he know what he's talking about or not. So, you know, a lot of, and then a lot of these trainers you think are good trainers, they're not. they fooling people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? they they fooling people. But because, you, you know why? You know the problem with a lot of trainers, though? Their ego. Everybody think they can't learn. Man, I learn from anybody. Okay. Any trainer, especially... Uh, I'll learn from it, research it, look it up, try right, it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? When I was when I was coming up, I was trying to learn from every all the best trainers. I go to a fight where they was at just to talk to them. Right. 
You know what I'm saying? Just to, hey, can I call you, ask you a question? You know what I'm saying? Because this sport, this is a sport that you will never know everything. If you think you know everything, you need to quit because you don't get somebody hurt. You know what I'm saying? The sport evolves all the time. You have, uh, I mean, you have different levels of boxing. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to, a good, I think a good trainer should be able to take a, a, a kid from the amateurs, have them do good in the amateurs, mm -hmm. then have them adjust to a, being a professional. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Even though the boxing is a little different, but he should have enough knowledge to put that guy on, another, on, on, on a pro level instead of an amateur level. You know what I'm saying? Have him, make, have him transfer uh, smoothly to right. the next level. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, I, and so the Europeans, the Russians, all those guys, they they still have good teachers over there teaching the fundamentals. We got people just just to open up a gym and say, yeah, I'm training. Yeah, and you got fighters who, who want to skip steps, though. They, they want to find the things in life, but they don't want to go through, you know what I mean, the process. You Well, you see that here in this gym. Like, you see some guys want to. They I want to be a pro boxer, but they don't want to. They don't want to progress. They don't want to put in the work. They, it's a lot of stuff they don't want to do to be a professional. It's a, it's a lot. Being a professional is like you know whatever you do in your whatever you do. If you're a professional cook, you're a professional bus boy, you're a professional doggone janitor, janitor, whatever it is. It's called being professional. You got to do shit, certain things that you got to do even when you don't want to do them. You know what I'm saying? That's like being a professional parent. You still got to pay the bills. You still got to take care of your kids. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't a professional parent. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're amateur parents <clears throat> or no parent at all. You know what I'm saying? But it's about doing things. It's about being uncomfortable. It's about sacrificing. It's about doing it when you don't want to do it. Doing it when you're tired. Doing it when you're sleepy. All that coming to being a professional ain't anything. So... You know, I'm just, I'm just saying, a lot of guys don't want to do that. They don't want to go through that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys don't. Yeah, it's around the clock. Yeah, and then, and far as boxing being professional, this got to be a lifestyle for you. It can't be just a hobby. This got to be a lifestyle because the window for you, or the window, or the opportunity for you to actually box is not long. Maybe like ten years as a pro. It's short. Very it's short. short. You get hurt, anything happen to you, you know what I'm saying? Anything can happen. You start getting kids, life, life in happens. general start happening. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That you, didn't, uh, that you didn't see when you was younger. Now you've grown, life is totally different. So, you know, so I just say, you know, everybody can't be a professional. And a lot of these guys don't want, like you said, don't want to go through that gauntlet, don't want to grind to get it. Right. So that's why, you know, in my latter years, I start, I'm taking who wanna, who I see wants to be, I'm not going to. not going to waste time. I'm not wasting money. time. An old trainer, an old trainer, Mr. Peterson, told me a long time ago, said, Dominic, don't just waste your time because that same time I'm wasting with them, I could be with, with my family. True. You know, or I could be at my house just relax. I ain't got to be stressed out wondering what you're doing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because in this job, Man, sometimes you're going to be a father to kids that don't have a father. Sometimes you're going to be a psychiatrist to kids who need a, a psych, a shrink and can't afford one. Sometimes you're going to be a doctor. Sometimes you're going to be, man, it, it, it's, it's so much you got to do in dealing with it. You got to deal with all kinds of emotions. Mm -hmm. You see this fighter every day. You dealing with his emotions, everything about him. The manager or, or let's say the promoter, the manager, whoever, they don't see this. You know what I'm saying? I got to deal with this stuff I'm joking every six weeks in camp or eight weeks in camp. So you got to learn how to adapt to people. And you got to learn how to adapt to each fighter because what make Joe work, they ain't going to make uh, Troy work. You understand what I'm saying? So you got to be able to, you gotta be able to play, put on a lot of hats when you're doing this. But you can't get a bad hat. You can't put the hat on and then this joke will be stressing you out. Nah, let him go. You know what I'm saying? And let him go. You know, that sometimes you got to do it. Sometimes you got to be professional and say, I got to let this guy go. You know what I'm saying? He's not fitting in the program. Right. Or he not, he's not going where I want to take him. Where you trying to take him. You yeah, trying to. The vision's not aligned. Correct, correct, correct. 
So, what else going on, champ? Uh, we got some fights coming up. We got Canelo, uh, Berlanga. Berlanga. Um, I got Canelo in that. I got Canelo that. too, man. The street said you got Berlanga. <laughs> you know what? Berlanga. And, uh, <laughs> I see a flying saucer before Berlanga went. <laughs> oh, this week, this week, nah, we got sparring going on. This weekend. This weekend, we got have some sparring going on. The guys coming from all over the region, come on out, see some good work. If you're in town, come at 7201 Park Lane Road, Sweet I get that, you know, see some good sparring. Better than pay per view. You know, some of these cars out sparring be better than that, you know. They definitely go down. Yep. And then we, we got the uh, Hurricane Boxing Show on the 17th. 17th, we going down to Hurricane, down to Charleston. Hurricane, Lori Ward, and. Um, Mike Galimas, so we coming out of there, kick some butt. So we read <laughs> Savage Boxing, we coming out of there too, y'all too. Nah, but anyway, now nah, we always have a good time when we go to Charleston. They always treat us like like family. So we looking forward to that to that show. Uh, what else? Any questions, Mr. Producer? We want to thank our producers there, folks, always putting on these shows. You know what I'm saying? Put on the best content. So. If he can get us a, a national podcast, we really be doing good. We working on it. We working on it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, hit the like button, man. I see we see the views. We get a thousand <laughs> some views and, and fifteen likes. Come on, I just hit the like button. They ain't gonna kill you. You know what I'm saying? Whether you like me or not, like him. Shit, you ain't gotta like me. Like him. Hit the button for him. He don't like me. He don't like me. Like him. That's right. Do what up? Or you like Zell? Just hit the button. You ain't gotta. You won't feel like you like him. You know what I'm saying? All right. This has been another exciting episode of Inside the Ropes. I thank y'all so much for coming out here to all the five million viewers that we have so far. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, yeah, we appreciate you. Thank you.